This is why Libya's rebels are begging for a no-fly zone. We were the first journalists on the scene after this bombing. People ignored the danger and raced to show us the damage. He's hitting his own people with bombs, young children. He's killing them, this man says. Just minutes ago, we were driving down the road to get to the front line when a government warplane dropped two bombs behind us. The shrapnel from those bombs is still warm. Near the craters, the wreckage of a pickup truck. A family with three children was in it when Gaddafi's air force struck. Two of the children died. The survivors were slashed by the shrapnel. The circling warplanes made for a jumpy day on the front line. Do you find that even though you're not military trained, you're, you're doing gaining good ground? Oh, uh, excuse me? Are you gaining good ground? I think there is... Uh, what do you think's just happened? No, no I think it's... Uh, <laughs> might be a plane or something. The rebels have had trouble on the ground as well. Their advance slowed by better armed government forces counterattacking to defend Gaddafi's home turf in the west. These fighters are realizing that enthusiasm alone won't get them to Tripoli. For days they advanced through town after town in eastern Libya by jumping into pickup trucks and racing to the fight with no planning whatsoever. Today this loudspeaker truck was asking for 10 volunteers to head into a firefight down the road. A few minutes later, the message was, has anyone lost their keys? Even the fighters admit they need discipline. They think it's a game. Yeah. You know? They don't uh, think Friends. about what, we, uh, what he, they're doing. Strategy. Yeah, they, they try and move on just like that. That's why we need a leader. We need someone to tell us, don't do that and do that. These men are gearing up for the toughest battle yet and they're hoping that a lot more help is on its way. On the front line, we spoke to a number of volunteers who say they are expecting more disciplined army units with heavier weapons to lead the next offensive as they make their way to Gaddafi's strongholds along the coastal road to Tripoli. The rebels, Mandy, had a setback yesterday. Are they losing ground where you are? Well, certainly the front line remained fairly static, although we were evacuated this morning, along with a number of civilians from the town of Ras Lanouf, which was roughly 10 miles away from the fighting. However, the rebels insist that they are ready to push forward as soon as the reinforcements arrive. Mandy Clark reporting tonight from Adjabia, Libya. Mandy, thank you.